So what's Charlie Charlie right and the big brother is watching us all? And the big brother is watching us all? Or is it all just a conspiracy theory that doesn't have any ground to stand on? Today we'll discuss the facial recognition technology, its repercussions and the regulatory steps that should be taken. Well, firstly, it's worth mentioning that face recognition technology has been there for a while. Ever since 1960, scientists started using face measurements to distinguish one person from another. How it worked? Basically, they used some type of a ruler at first to measure the distances between our eyes the thickness of our lips, the length of our nose, and another bunch of details to finally figure that all these numbers are unique for every person. You know, just as how your fingerprint is special, so is the individual's face. As the advancement of technology came, engineers figured a way to utilize computers to recognize different people using their face patterns. Of course, now the measurements became more accurate and more precise. Moreover, it has become possible to identify any person from photo, video, or even in real time, as machines are able to store vast amount of information and images of people. It won't come to you as a surprise that new technologies arise, they come and go. Then there is a question, why this specific tendency is important? The answer is simple, because it is rapidly becoming our new normality. We wake up in the morning, unlock our phones using Face ID, we drink our coffee and go to work. During our commute, we are being spectated at tens, sometimes even hundreds of cameras. After work, we go to the shopping malls, where we check out in shops using our face ID to unlock the banking card in your phone. In all these times, we are being filmed are viciously easy to use to get enough information to identify the person and learn basically everything about them. The actual problem is that there is almost non-legal regulation for this type of usage. Different authorities and private companies in different countries use this information basically as they wish. For instance, in China almost every company has access to the common database where identified individuals are combined with information on their buying habits food preferences, even address, and so on. In other countries, this technology is used for identifying protesters' personalities. In all these cases, show us that facial recognition technology without proper regulation is limiting our right for private lives and our freedom of movement. So, is there anything we can do? Can we actually regulate the facial recognition technology? Yes, we can, but it is not that simple. Nevertheless, we should urge our governments to regulate this technology and to work on the laws that will make the usage of it proportionate and so that it will not limit our freedom and our rights. have seen, the facial recognition technology as helping people all around the world. It saves our time, helps us check out in stores, even if we don't remember the password to our bank accounts. After all, it is used for finding criminals. Nevertheless, this technology can be and actually is being misused. There are issues with false positive and false negative results, and it is even discriminatory in some sort of sense, which is more important. Uh, there is almost none legal regulation of this issue. And this is something we should actually work on, because it is very important 
for any new mean of identification to not limit our basic rights and freedoms.